Hey guys, welcome back to more Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Okay, and last time we found a whole bunch of secrets after finishing level 6. And we, we in fact found the secrets from the first three levels, and I already found everything out of level 4. So we're going back to level 5. And so we start off into the, the room with the exit portal, that large room with the lava. We headed up to that upper path, if, we, if you can remember correctly. And this is where the Eye of Truth's talisman was that we couldn't access before. Now look at it. Alright. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> They're freaking mantid soldiers. Trying to... Nail me from... Far away, and it's not gonna work. I don't think this will work either. Eh, nope. Oh shit, yes it- look at that- ooh! Oh god, this is oozing out. Shit, dude. That's amazing, I didn't think that would work. I don't think that would have worked on the old game. On this newer version, though. I swear. The Cerebral Gore is much more dependable. Oh well. Okay. There we go. That was a some excellent dodging, honestly. All right, so let's get on to this uh, special catwalk, and we already have an ultra health here. I like it already, but I know th I know what this is going to lead to. A hint: we have to get it. There's your hint. These walkways are just pretty cool looking, honestly. Oh god, oh boy. Okay, hold on, hold up. Ah, forget it. I don't care, I'll take some hits. Better than falling in the pit. Yep, Promaging Key 5. Damn. So there's your Primaging Key, and you need the Eye of Truth Talisman. And um, first, um, I'm going to do... Now I'm going to do a Deftify and Jump. And hope I don't kill myself. Yep, everything's out of there. Um, but I believe we are missing three secrets. Yeah. That's not good. So let's try to make this jump. This is like a lot scarier than it looks. Ugh. I swear you can go right through that sometimes. It's a pretty cool area. Now it's time to find those three secrets, and I'll I'll let you guys know when I do. This could take a while. Okay, so before that, actually, we're gonna go ahead and insert the Prime Gen Key three and five that we picked up in the Death Marshes. And now I'm ready to try to find that secret. Those secrets. Okay, so, in one of like the uh, first chambers in the inner sanctum kind of area, it's one of the ones. It's kind of hard to explain, really, because they all look the freaking same. But there is a, there's, um, well, there's grenades back here. There's actually a telltale sign of a fake wall that you can blow. So it's not fake, but it's, you can blow open the wall. I don't know how I missed it, but... This will more than likely trigger a secret. So, yeah, this looks pretty elaborate. Jesus. Ooh, jeez. Does that have any effect on them? Um, okay, so there's your secret. We had to grab the flamethrower. So, hey, we made progress. Jeez, Christ, what's going on here? Um, what? Hello. 
Okay, these guys are being major pains in the asses. Therefore, their demises, I have to show their destruction. Oh yeah, oh yeah, eat that. All right, continuing onward. <sighs> what the heck is over here? Wow. Okay, a big room. But first, you're all gonna get nuked. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Get a screenshot of that. I don't even care if I'm getting hit. So you can take damage from that, huh? There we go. That should silence them. Or not. Jesus Christ. There are so many of these things. More mites for the table. Oh my god. Wow. Oh hey, that's another secret. Sweet. We're just we're just missing one more. Holy cow, that mite is huge. Look at that thing. They're all pretty big, actually. They're good. Bigger target for the grenades. Oh my god, shut up! Wow. So yeah, it's two secrets. I mean, it's a pretty big area. Not sure why this is the second secret, but I'm not complaining. That's less looking around I have to do in this freaking stage, even though I've already gone from the beginning areas. Found nothing in that area. Now we're finally finding stuff way down in the... deep inside the hive. And you can destroy these walls in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. That was really elaborate. It was two secret areas, too. Alright, so the very f next area after the very first room in the level. Do you see this computer on the screen on the wall? I remembered it broke, it broke, but like it's not working. There's got to be something I can do here. I mean, look at this. Watch this. Gonna shoot every spot on the damn thing. So it does not open. What the fuck? How does... How... Why? Why is that a thing? I guess it's to protect from plasma. And that is the final secret area in this level, and it took me forever to find it. All right, so moving on, we're out of we're out of level five for good, and now level six, we have to figure out how to get that prime gen key, and we're also missing a secret area. But the uh, for, the final generator room in the fourth section, where the breath of life talisman was, I somehow missed a tunnel down here that you could swim into. How the fuck did I miss that? But anyways. This can only be a good thing. Oh god, or not. Got an elite guard. We did have an elite guard. So, yes. I figured out that these that there are four special switches in each section. And they all open or deactivate that central structure in the main room lobby area. Not so we can get the Primogen key. So, after the room with the Razor Wind, we find something that I completely forgot about. It's that room with the Eye of Truth Talisman. Let's see if I can pick up some ammo. No. Yes, this has got to lead to that special switch. 
Thank God, because I was like wondering what the hell, man. Uh oh. Whoa, this looks pretty funky. I'm like really, really, really steep terrain here. Oh, yeah. There it is. The Prime G key should be ours. But before that, let's go try to make this harrowing jump. Use the life forces as guide. Oh, I'm so lucky I didn't die from that. <laughs> And there you have it. With all four switches hit, we can gain access to the final Primogen key. Now I'm hoping it says a secret activated. Primogen key found. Yes, it does! Oh my god, that was the final secret! Woohoo! I do not have to search everywhere in this damn light ship, because that would have been really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, that was so cool, and I believe we have everything in the game now, so there's only one thing left to do. Destroy the Primogen. Thank God. I did not look up anything, I promise. Well guys, we have all the Primogen keys, so when you're ready, Step onto the altar, and then insert the final Primogen key, and it'll take us to the final boss. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We're at the final boss, the Primogen. Took a little while. But anyway, I believe he's gonna open these hatches and it's going to like make little ships appear, but wait, first we got this nuke ball <laughs> that's exploding into tinier pieces. So just move around to avoid those. But this is what I used the nuke on. It was to destroy these ships that start flying towards you. Because it does not work on the Primogen. At least not in the old game. There we go. So he's protected, but once we destroy all these things... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> there he is. He's ready to fight. But first I'm going to see if it does work. Fired it. Holy shit, it worked! Well, I think they changed that. And I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna like abuse this. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh shit. Oh, that's right, he can regenerate his health. He looks like a type of regenerator monster, doesn't he? He's just a twerp. He's trying it again. I gotta shoot him in the head. Okay, cool. So if you shoot him enough, he's going to stop the regeneration process. I wonder if he can regenerate his anatomy. I hope not. Here he goes again. Jesus. Stop that. God damn, he's almost dead. This can't be it. Impossible. Suffer, my 
No, you will suffer my wrath. He's not getting hit. He's not getting hit. I gotta take out his, uh, little, his bigger arm or something. This will stop ya. Now I'll know if this is a glitch or something. There he goes, I saw it go away. Futile. Alright. Now, he's probably not dead. There's no way he is. Nope, he's escaping. So that was probably, like, I assume the first part of the boss out of, like, three or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so there's more of this shit. So, the nuke works on the primogen. So we're not going to use it on this guy. On these things. Ooh, flamethrower works well. Aha, aha. He's ready again. Let's go. Okay, this time he's got the little pincer back there, or whatever it is. I see it flashing. I can't hit that. I'm sorry. Here's how we deal with a small hitbox. Oh my god, stop it! Yeah, you like that? Uh oh. Shit. He's doing something else. Not good. It, it hurts. Ooh, I got him good. Right in the arm. Huh? Oh, there's one of those ships. That'll stop ya. This is also the same music from Level 5 Boss. Interesting. It is kind of epic. What am I having special music? Unless this isn't the last fight, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm hurt! Stop it! Damn it. He's not getting hit. Huh? Oh jeez. He's shooting fire. He's mad. Oh, nice hit. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how to hit him in a way. Like, I shot him right in the freaking body, which wasn't flashing, and it hurt him. There he goes. And there I almost go. Ah, oh, I can't beat any of these bosses without dying. Except for the blind one. He was pathetic. Here we go. Probably, maybe one more phase. But we need health. Badly. What the fuck? That's like... Oh no. That's right by the freaking edge. Why? <laughs> ah, shit. 
That's fine, I can get more health. When he's not trying to fly after me. Uh, okay, it just disappeared. Shredder also works pretty well on these ships. Here it comes! Oh, what the fuck? What? Dude! What happened? He like pushed me or something. That was so weird. Very annoying too. Okay, um, did he just start over again? He might have. Oh shit. That's a little annoying. This guy kind of takes a little bit. Eat that. Here we go. Oh no, he did start over, unlike the other ones. Well, you know what? That's fine, I mean, it is the last boss. Ah, what the fuck is hitting me? Is it that red stripe? I don't even know anymore. The hitboxes in this game are so weird. They're a conundrum. Wow, what a hit. Shut your mouth! You ugly ass bug. Stop right there. What the fuck? No, not again! Oh my god, okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not going for that stuff at the edge. I don't know why it's like that. It's like, why is it on the very, teetering on the very edge of that freaking... Oh my god, really? Again? Oh, fuck. Ugh. Kidding me? I'm going to kick your ass so hard. Oh, man. <laughs> That's easy enough to stop. Oh, yeah, I'm done playing around. Who else says that? They go, aw, oh, too easy. That's strange. I know, it was something else. It wasn't him. He stole his lines. Whoever it is. I don't know. Maybe it was like Shang Tsung off Mortal Kombat. He's like, aw, oh, too easy. Or was it Shao Kahn? Might have been. I don't know. Midway made those games, didn't they? God, I can't even remember. Or was that actually a claim? Who knows? <laughs> oh my god, this boss is like... Uh... It just wears you down, kinda. It's just enduring.
Are you ready yet? Oh my god, that hit! Dude, this guy is pretty thick armor. Or, I mean, thin, not very good armor at all. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's this freaking battle, it's gotten to me. Ugh, stupid sonic waves, alright. Hurt and grab it. Oh my god. I still can't believe I, I fell twice. Well, hey, it might happen a third time. I hope not. I hope not. Are you ready yet? Yes! Third phase. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No more, no more of that, no more of that. Look, I got one right there. There's his head, okay. Shoot his head. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa. The Primogen has been destroyed, Turok. The combined energy from the totems has shattered his body and destroyed the last traces of his telepathic powers. The Omniverse is in your debt. I have been unable to identify the force which conspired against you during your battle with the Primogen. Its form eluded me. While I searched, a feeling of dread washed over me. A feeling unlike any that I have ever experienced. There is a natural balance in the cosmos between that which we define as good and that which we know as evil, light and dark, order and chaos. Although I have been unable to gain any specific knowledge of this being, its energy signature feels as if it exists beyond either fundamental force. And one other thing, Joshua. Each time I scan this entity signature, I also detected the energies of the Turok lineage as well. Whatever it is, your ancestors have dealt with it before. Explosive shells are OP. Yikes. Well, that was a pretty cool end of the Primogen. I mean, the the energy totems, they all gathered their energy and completely obliterated them. That is it. That is the last boss, guys. The Primogen has been destroyed. And the, I guess Adom was talking about the Oblivion cult. So apparently they're not gone. And I guess this kind of paves the way for the next game, which is Turok 3 Oblivion. Which, if I can remember correctly, wasn't nearly as good. I mean, the first two Turoks are some of the best games I've ever played. The first one is really, really good. And the second one, I might like it a little bit more. It's a lot more polished, for sure. But yeah, that is Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now we get to listen to this delightful... Death Marsh's music. <laughs> hmm. 
Can't think of anything else to say, I guess. I just... Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another Let's Play. I guess I'll just let these credits close out, and yeah. Have a good day, guys. This is GigaFlare777, signing off.